Welcome to the Perry Stone YouTube channel. I want to talk about visions for just a moment, and I want to share with you one that I had in, in uh, actually before the year 2000. And the reason I know it was before the year 2000 is the artist here, he has his initials at the bottom, JML, J. Michael Leonard. I asked him to draw out what I had experienced in a night vision. And of course, this was right before 9-11. Many of you are aware that he drew a picture of the Trade Center shrouded in black at the top, and actually shrouded in black, and uh, the cornfield and the great tornadoes that were coming off. And we talked about this uh, right around the year 2000. And in 2001, when the Trade Center was hit by the terrorist, that entire vision, which happened in 1996 in Brooksville, Florida, came to pass in details. And we've written about that, so we won't go over that in detail. But in this particular vision, I was standing in front of a church. Now, I'm here, let me just show you, I'm here, you don't see the church, the church is in this direction here. It's what we would call a shotgun church, meaning a straight, long church like you see in many rural areas or smaller towns. And I noticed that a storm had come by, some type of a terrible storm. This is what I saw. I saw buildings that were intact, but I saw other buildings that the interior was completely gone and ruined. Something had happened to shut the entire building down, and the people were not accessing the buildings. In fact, the people were outdoors and not even inside the buildings working. And I remember seeing clothes and seeing water and seeing food that was being brought in to towns and people were collecting it and taking it home with them. Now, I personally believe that this has reference to the long, long lines of cars that you see where people are being fed in California and a lot of other states where uh, they're wanting help and they're wanting assistance. And this has been going on, as you know, during coronavirus for quite some time. If you will look at this picture from 1999, I was standing in front of this church, and between me and the church were five beautiful, large, very large gray pearls. Now, I knew in the, in the vision that uh, I didn't know much about the color of pearls. Gray is a very expensive color of a pearl, but there were five of them, and I remember that the string that held them together had been broken by the storm, and that the pearls were all lying on the ground. They were safe. They had not been trampled. They had not been crushed, and I started picking them up one by one and restringing them, and I knew that if I would stand there long enough, eventually, in the midst of all the chaos happening in these cities, that these five pearls would be strung back together again. Now, if you think about it, this was 1999, and we're now headed into the year 20, uh, 2021. Now, how long does it take for a vision like this to come to pass? Well, sometimes it's months and sometimes it's years. And I do believe that this now had reference. I thought at first it could be 9-11, but that never made sense with the five pearls. So I always felt that each pearl represented an aspect of my ministry that would need to be pulled back together. Or these were individual months of ministry because the pearl in the New Testament, the pearl of great price represents the gospel. And you can read about that in Matthew 3. 13 of the parable of the man that went out to uh, seek, seek the treasure. And of course, he came back with the pearl, sold everything to get the pearl. So the pearl is representative of the gospel, the very preciousness of the gospel. The pearl back in the Roman time or Jesus time was one of the most expensive things you could get. It was actually more valuable than diamonds. Well, as you know, probably at the end of April, all the traveling, uh, I know, of our ministry completely ceased, and we uh, have taken uh, time off from ministry for various uh, reasons and purposes. But I do believe that if you look at May, June, July, August, and September, that the end of September, for me personally, would be the conclusion of the five months of pearls. And I believe the Lord is, is, is telling us by this dream from 1999, 1999 to slowly begin to get back into doing things and putting things back together and completely combining the things that we need to do to reach more people with the gospel. There, uh, President Trump is now, uh, with, with Arab nations uh, in the Gulf states, having peace treaties signed with Israel. No one saw this coming. It's just like no one saw the embassy uh, being moved to Jerusalem. And this is extremely prophetic. And when we get more information, we'll be doing some special studies on that. But I want you to understand that even though that the entire world and nation is going through crisis and there's still shutdowns and they're still talking about shut, shutting down and they're talking about you know shutting down again before the election and I don't know what people would do about voting. I think, I think in some places they're trying to force people to vote by mail so that they won't show up. 
I'm not a conspiracy person, but there's just so many things happening that make no sense, to be quite honest with you. But I will, I do believe that the gospel of the kingdom, according to Jesus in Matthew 24, 14, is going to be preached around the world as a witness unto all nations, and then the end would come. And I want to thank those of you who may be partners with us or special friends of ours who are just praying and standing with us to continue that the great work that the Lord called me to 45 years ago will continue to reach the nations of the world. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your love that you have sent us and God bless you and be sure and subscribe to the Perry Stone YouTube channel because we're going to be doing a lot of specials in the days ahead. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel and never miss a video by clicking the bell to get the alerts when a new video is posted. This YouTube channel is made possible by your generous donations. So to support our outreach of teaching, visit perrystone.org slash YT.